Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. Well, my thing is, I remember reading something where it was like it was watch. I was thinking I was watching a video where it's like sports records that um, were broken, but the reason they're broken is because technology advances. Like, can you give one example? Yes. Um, for example, like the fastest baseball ever thrown, um, stuff like that, or the fastest the fastest mile. Yeah. There's there's new track shoes and running shoes. Yeah, that- exactly. Because technology advances further, people are able to do it better. But they're not technically superior athletes. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Because if you looked at the fastest, like, I don't remember exactly, well, but for let's just take a hypothetical example. Well, somebody broke the two-hour marathon record. Like, the, for the first time ever, somebody broke the oh, two-hour marathon threshold. Yeah. And he was wearing supposedly the most advanced shoe sneakers ever made. Mm-hmm. And these sneakers supposedly reduced the recoil... Or reduce the damage, like reduce the impact what, on, when his, on his like ankles and feet and everything like that. But increase the recoil, giving you more bounce. bounce. That makes sense. The more bounce you have, the further you could go. Yeah. Why well, sounds- I'm using less of your energy. Yep. Yeah. And that's the thing is, like you said, it doesn't mean that they're it. And that's why the whole thing was, even though they're breaking records, technically, would the old school would still be would old school athletes be better than new school athletes if they had the right equipment. Yeah. So like there was a baseball player, let's for example, because yeah. I don't remember exactly. Like say he threw I think like top speed was like ninety eight miles an hour, right? Which yeah. is still very fast. Yeah. But that was like a hundred years ago, right? So now you have people who can throw like one oh eight. Like I think yeah. the highest I seen was like one oh seven or one eight. Yeah. And that's a whole ten miles per hour faster. You know what I mean? Which 10 miles, ride a bike 10 miles and see. Exactly. So um, the whole thing was if he had the, you know, the Same newer baseball. shoes. Yeah, the, 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 the different mounts. Not cause... only different mounts, different grip because it's made by different, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's not all regulated. And not only that, but it's also um, the balls are made out of different materials. You know what I mean? Like there's too many variables. variables yeah. But they had it where like if the variables were all the same, it's estimated that the person who was throwing 98 could throw like 115. Yo, but I, then there's a human limit on certain things, but you know what I mean. You'll never know, but that's the thing that sucks is how cool would that be? Well, the, it's the it's the same problem with sports that keep track of stats like basketball and football. Yes, like as an example, football quarterback quarterbacks now are throwing twice as many yards per season compared to 50 years ago. But does that still count if 50 years ago they? only passed 40% of the time, and now they're passing 80% of the time. Yeah, then the numbers, of course, are going to double. Are these quarterbacks actually better passers, or are they just a product of the system? Yeah. Yeah, that's why you can't really tell. I know it's not quite the you same as you. You take everything with... into account, though. No, 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 yeah. I get it, because like you said, like back then, if, I'm, if half my plays I'm throwing and half I'm running, but now I'm running on only 20% of my plays. Yeah. That's a 30% increase. So meaning that, means- that if I threw 1,000 miles, right? Yeah. Or 1,000 miles, 1,000 yards. Now it's 1,300. Now it's 1,300 because I threw 30% more. Yeah. So 1,000 back then is equivalent to 1,300 now. Mm-hmm. So I get it. Yeah, I yeah. get it. It just, sports are weird like that. That's why when, when they change with the time. But that's why when people talk about the GOATs, mm. They really hate when they compare errors because it's really hard to go off of equipment, to of go course. off the play style. Yeah, exactly. It's like you can only. My thing is, too, is all another thing is teammates. Like, I know you can go to statistics, you can go straight down to statistics. That's why I hate team sports, bro. Because mm-hmm. you can't tell how great someone is, especially how you can't tell exactly how great somebody is if they yeah. play with a team because one person could be gone from that team and mess up the entire flow chemistry mm-hmm. yeah and that's why a lot of the time it's much easier to make the goat debates in boxing mma or tennis because at the end of the day it's single it's, it's on one, you one v one yeah 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 mike but- tyson <laughs> listen i just want to go and point this out you watch my cl- the clips of my man's when he was younger he's an absolute monster bro i still stand by this if his original coach never died the guy who got him the championship who mm-hmm. trained him I still think he would have never lost. Yeah. Just a friendly reminder, guys. Hit the subscribe button in this corner. And then for the newest video. Then for the most recommended. And then for our famous dick pic.